Nowadays, most web design tends to look pretty similar, and there's some good reasons for that. Over the last 10 or 15 years, we have found really effective layouts that users have come to know that just tend to work. And so in this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 really effective, tried and true web design layouts that if you master these layouts, you're gonna master web design. Before we dive in and start talking about the layouts, I wanna share with you a few foundational elements. These building blocks, so to speak, are gonna be found in every single layout that we talk about in the video. Let's talk about the first one, and this is simply called a content lockup. You've seen this all over the place, and the reason it's called a lockup is because we've locked two pieces or two elements together. In this case, we're talking about a headline and some body copy. It could be a headline and subheadline or it could be multiple things locked up together like headline subheadline body copy and some sort of call to action so understanding this basic lockup is going to be a really big deal next up we have another foundational element it's called the media element this could be an image it could be video it could be an animation it could be some sort of animated svg whatever it is this media is gonna be pretty pivotal in all of our building blocks. And you know what? When we take both of these elements and start to put them together, we have our third basic foundational element, and that's gonna be some sort of lockup mixed with our media. And that's gonna move us directly into our very first layout. You're gonna see something really similar to what you just saw on the screen. And this is what we're gonna call the two column content plus image. We have a lockup on the left, and we have some sort of imagery on the right hand side. And you can see this done both ways left and right right and left again we're just forming two different columns and we're splitting those two foundational elements this is really really popular you see some really good examples here inside of more of like a hero header section we're putting the lock up on the left image on the right we have some more examples of it down here kind of free floating imagery on the left and yet again another lock up on the right and you can see another example of it here so used a lot for like feature sections hero headers uh, call outs of like specific things you want on any particular web design or website uh, so that is your basic content lockup plus the image let's jump in now to our second layout this one's really really popular this is your three column information or your three column grid this can be done in lots of different ways but notice we're bringing that foundational element back it's just a bunch of shrunk down like really like scaled down content lockups that are put side by side into this three column layout. You could do this with iconography. You could do this with images built into that lockup. See how we're bringing those two elements back together. And then lastly, you can do it center line. You can do it left line. You can do it in all sorts of ways. These are really, really popular for showcasing, you know, like maybe different features or value propositions. Uh, you can see another example of it here. Uh, we're talking about like really clear, like features or value propositions. And quite often when it moves over to mobile, it's gonna drop down to this one column layout. So that is your second layout. Let's jump into your third. And these three layouts that we're talking about so far, are really like the basic layouts. We're gonna get to some more advanced layouts later, but these ones are the basics, including this next one, which is just called your vertical center aligned. This is gonna be another mixture of your content lockup and some sort of media, could be photo, could be video, animation, whatever but we're just center lining everything. And you can do this like top, bottom, bottom, top, mixing up the different elements. Really, really popular. You can see an example of it here. Headline, subheadline, some call to actions, and then some sort of playable media down below. Again, a really popular one. We can also take that piece of media and we can mix and match it. It doesn't need to be one solid piece. In this example, these are like interactive cards that actually uh, um, interact with the mouse position when a user is scrolling around the website. So those are your three basic layouts. Let's dive into a little bit more of an advanced layout, starting with one that's gonna seem pretty familiar, but it's gonna be good for a conversation. And this is gonna be our two column off canvas. You can see we have an example here of something you've already seen. We have content lockup on the left, imagery off on the right but this imagery can lead off the canvas and sometimes it could even be instead of one single image it might be multiple images that lead off in this case we have some sort of cards uh, that have maybe have information on it or separate images and this would denote that the user can scroll and actually drag or scroll or push these elements over or quite often it can be one image 
that leads off canvas. Let's take a look at some of these. We have some kind of credit cards or something like that moving off canvas. Now, how you, you either static, you leave these leading off canvas just to kind of break the grid and give a feeling of kind of dimensionality and space. That's one way to do it. Or you lead elements off the canvas like that. That's fine as well. Sometimes these things animate in. If you want to build websites and you want to start using some of the layouts that we're talking about in this video, you should definitely consider checking out the new Wix Studio. It's a way for you to build websites without writing a single line of code. And what's really cool is instead of doing everything from scratch inside of Wix Studio, you can grab some of these tried and true layouts that we're talking about and just immediately pop them into your website. And you can just edit things, customize things however you want. And then they all work responsively across all different device sizes. So definitely consider checking out Wix Studio to do some really cool website layout. This is gonna be another advanced layout. The two column, this is image or media plus list group. You can see an example here of some sort of media here, video image, but then we also have a grid, a vertical grid of list items. Now, in this case, we have two that are desaturated, or excuse me, uh, that are neutralized a little bit. Uh, their opacity is down. And that means that they're most likely clickable, right? So we've currently, we're clicking on this one. It's the active one. It's displaying some content here. If we were to click on feature two, it would highlight that one and change the content. Sometimes these can just be static, but quite often they have some sort of interaction built in. You can see a great example of that here. Look at that. We have some off canvas imagery happening here, but as we click on each one of these, they expand and they would then change the content that is inside. Let's move on to the next one. This is going to be your two column and this is grid information. Uh, you can see the example here. We have that lockup either place left or right. You can flip flop these. Uh, but then we also we've taken that list set and we've built these into smaller like two column kind of grids. So this now two column, this individual column here has been broken up into its own two column grid just kind of gridding things out a little bit. Again, you could do this with imagery, you could do it with icons, you could do it without any of that and just have the content lockup. But this is really great, again, for showcasing features, like all of these features relate to whatever this thing is. Maybe it's an offering, maybe it's a specific product or feature. Um, these are all sub features of that. So it's kind of connecting those things together. And that is your grid plus your information. You can see some good examples of that happening down here. In this case, they're showcasing services. What can we do for you? And they're showing each of those services in this grid layout, okay? The next one we have, again, really, really similar. It's the grid, but now we're bringing back the image. See how so much of this is just flip-flopping and, you know, like exchanging certain elements for other ones. But these are some of the most common layouts that you'll see on websites today. So again, we're just replacing that content lockup with the image, still keeping that grid structure. You can see a good example of this one over here. Uh, we have some sort of off canvas imagery. We have some sort of grid structure happening, although this is a little bit more um, indicative of a later layout that we'll be talking about, but still has a little bit of that grid layout happening. Let's jump into another one. I really like this one a lot because this is great for content heavy stuff. This is your two column uh, and it has, you know, your large image plus a grid, uh, you know, like its own multiple row grid. In this case, we're dropping in some sort of imagery and you have your content lockup and you add some grid information down here. Um, kind of things broken up into this little two column. Just fun to kind of break things up. You can see here we have uh, our imagery. It has like a lot of dimensionality on it, some off canvas elements. But then over here on the right hand side, we get, you know, that like that nice big content lockup. But we've also added some little line items with iconography inside of it. Just brings a little bit more information. Uh, so it's still scannable, but it's still a little bit more in depth than if we were to just put nothing but that content lockup. Let's do another one here. And this is actually just a repurposing of things we've already seen. This is what we call the staggered ladder layout. It's when you alternate the same section left and right. You just alternate it down the page. Could be done two times, three times, four times. Really great for showing similar features and just keeping the interest as the user kind of leads down the page. You can see you could do it with all of the lockups and all of the layouts we've already done by just flip flopping them down the page. You can see some great examples here. We have some really great floating uh, elements with dimensional elements on top of it. And then there you have that left column with the content lockup. You have it repeated, just flip flopped again. 
organic shapes and elements and then boom we just flip flop it down here just kind of changing the imagery up uh, but keeping some consistency in what you see in that content lockup portion this is a really great layout because it lets our user have some sort of like understanding it's very very learnable they're like oh i get this layout i just continue reading down the page in this way which leads us to our 10th and final layout this is what we call the bento grid uh, and this can be done in a lot of different ways it's really any of these cards are just representing a spot for any of the different layouts we've already talked about today so you can put a content lock up inside of here you can mix and match and put imagery you can do content lockups with the imagery you do a grid inside of each one of these but you're just adding them into some sort of container and then doing a fun bento box kind of grid with them you can see some great examples over here on the apple website this is apple.com they're doing that same thing a center aligned content lockup with imagery we have center aligned with imagery on the bottom lots of that stuff happening on apple here's another example a little bit more modern and kind of fun using colorful cards a couple of thoughts before we go make sure that you're implementing lots of different mixtures of these layouts mix and match them make sure that you're taking those foundational kind of elements and inserting them in all sorts of different ways play with it have lots of fun but the building blocks are there lastly know when to customize and break the rules sometimes leaving things off canvas sometimes having your site really really structured and having one kind of marketing moment that breaks all of these rules and does something really unique that can be powerful too, but for the most part, these layouts are your bread and butter. Make sure you learn them, love them, and live them. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon so you know when more web design videos come out. Hope you're having an amazing week, and we'll see you in the next one.